Welcome to Business Connection. I'm Liz Spencer. We welcome back old friends. It's the DuPage Credit Union, and we have Amy Brandt, who's Vice President of Business Solutions. Alongside her is Amy Lambert, who's the Community Resource Coordinator from the Catholic Charities Diocese of Joliet. Welcome. Welcome back. Thanks, Liz. Now, you're here because you do something really terrific for the community every year. Tell me about it. We do. Um, we have our We've Got Your Back uh, Backpack campaign, which is a fundraiser to raise money um, to purchase backpacks and supplies for students in DuPage County. That's wonderful. Now, you've been doing this for a number of years. Tell mm -hmm. me about your success. Um, well, we started out, you know, the first year we did it, we raised money just for the high school kids because that um, was where the need was. Mm -hmm. And we had such an um, overwhelming response from the community and our members making donations, um, sponsors, that we decided to set a goal every year of at least $10,000 so that we could purchase more and more backpacks and supplies. That's wonderful. Now, Amy, you're with the uh, Catholic Charities, and you are a benefactor of, of this generosity. Tell me a little bit about how it impacts you. Absolutely. The DuPage Credit Union has totally been a blessing, and we are forever grateful for all of their support. Um, once they came on board as a partner, we were able to really serve our community in a way that was more impactful for our children, kindergarten through 12th grade, where they really had the supplies and type of backpack that could truly take them through the school year. Well, that's so important, because I don't think we think about the backpack and, and and how much it goes into it and how it's changed. It's not just pencils and a notebook anymore. What goes into those backpacks? Oh my goodness, there's so many things that go into the backpack, but the things that are most important are things like a scientific calculator for our high schoolers or middle schoolers, um, a dictionary, real notebooks, the five subject, you know, mm -hmm. notebooks and pens and pencils, all of that that can help them to have a healthy school year. Well, Amy, and I think it was a couple years ago that you got um, clued in and where you provided the backpack so it, it all looked the same and nobody stood out anymore. Mm -hmm. Well, and I think, you know, there's been other companies that have joined as well to help donate. So um, many different places have bought many different colorful backpacks. Um, you know, for the little kids, we've actually even been getting, you know, some of the themed backpacks. Nice. So, um, and we try and give them a choice. You know, when we start and we have all these colors available, we, we really try and, you know, let the kids pick what they want. So, yes, they do blend in. Um, it's not just a red or a black backpack anymore. It's very functional and friendly and and hip They're cool. and hip. <laughs> right yeah 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 that everybody wants one you know and mm -hmm. that's the important thing yeah, we talked a little bit about um, this off camera but credit unions and financial institute play such a big role when it comes to being a part of our community and giving back why why do you do it well I mean this is where our roots are you know mm -hmm. we started as a teachers credit union so we've always been you know entwined with the schools and the DuPage Regional Office of Education, which partners with Catholic Charities as well, um, that's how we got involved. So it just seems to be the right thing to do. It's a great fit. Well, it is, it's important. We need it. I, think, I don't think the average resident realizes the, the financial impacts that the credit union provides for the community or any other financial institute. You guys are super citizens, so we thank you for that. Now, this is a fair, Amy. What else happens at this fair? At this fair, we not only provide backpacks, school supplies, and or gift cards to the children that are attending, but it's a resource fair. It's like a one-stop shop. So for our families, in order to qualify to get these supplies, they have to be going through a pretty hard time financially. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we work really hard to pull agencies and organizations within their community who can provide resources for them. Anything from employment opportunities to um, food pantries, help with housing, you name it, we've got it. That's wonderful. And how many people will go through this fair? What's it? Generally speaking, and it's been about the same each year, we get about 5,000 individuals that's representing about 1,200 families at the fair. Wow, that's, that's a lot of people. The yeah. need is really great in DuPage County, and sometimes I think we overlook that mm -hmm. for it being an affluent county, but there are several different pockets mm -hmm. that really need the help. Mm -hmm. Right, and uh, your goal for this year is $10,000. It is. And how many backpacks will that 
does that roughly, I don't want to put you on a spot, give me a rough number. 1,200 roughly. Okay. Um, we have leftovers from last year that okay. we'll be able to fill with kits. So, um, you know, we're off to a good start. That's awesome. Now you have an event coming up that help, is sort of a fundraiser for for your donation. Tell me a little bit about it, because that's a neat thing you do, too. It is. Drive, Drop, and Donate, which will be June 22nd at 1515 Bond Street in Naperville. Um, we shred. We have a truck there to shred um, documents, and then we also collect electronics for recycling. Uh, as we get closer, all the information will be on our website at dupagecu.com, so there'll be lists of you know what we'll accept and what not. Um, and we do ask for a minimum donation of $10, and that helps towards our goal of 10000 That's wonderful, and I think it's a great event. I love when um, the credit union offers a shredding event because I feel like when I'm dropping that stuff off, you know what to do with it. Mm -hmm. We do because right. we have our own paperwork that we have to shred as well, so right. it's it, safe. <laughs> right? Yeah, right. You know, yeah, it gives me an extra feeling of, of confidence with mm -hmm. that. And that, and for you know, a donation of ten dollars—that's such a bargain these days to have that type of level of security, especially electronics too. So sure. that's awesome. So we appreciate very much. It's another way that you give back to the community. And, then, and so your employees also give back a lot with, with this event and helping in general. Why do you do that? I think it gives them the opportunity to get involved. Um, it gives them the opportunity to work together outside of their normal day-to-day -day responsibilities. So uh, it gives them the opportunity to see you know, what's out there in the community and what the need is. I also think you all have just big hearts. <laughs> so, Amy, tell me a little bit about where the fair is and, and, and when it is again and what's happening. Absolutely. So the fair will be held on August the 1st at St. Francis High School in Wheaton from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. That's wonderful. Well, we wish you a lot of luck. We know you're going to be very successful with the fair because you have a wonderful partner in DuPage Credit Union. So we do. Thank you all for what you do the DuPage Credit Union does for the community. It's so important. Thank you for all your help. We'll be right back with more Business Connection. Stay tuned.